Hey guys, welcome to Culture Shock. My name's Anthony, and I'm on vacation! Woo! And now I'm back. <laughs> well, I'm back too. Hey, John! Hi! How, how you We're doing? We're back. We're back. Alright, so today on Culture Shock, we are going to talk about something. Something. Because there ain't shit going on in the game industry, really. So we're just going to talk about something we've been wanting to talk about, or I have, for a while. And you guys have been wanting us to talk about for a while. The Oculus Rift. John, do you know what the Oculus Rift is? I don't know, but we should... Well, do- for those... Do- what? I said we should do one of those. The Oculus Rift. You should oh. put an effect on that. Maybe. The Oculus Rift. Oculus Rift. Rift. The Oculus Rift is a headset and it tracks your head in video games and you can look around and it's fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> small part of news about it recently. Uh, John Carmack of id Software deci- said he is going to be the chief technology officer. Boom. CTO. On the Oculus Rift. Boom. CTO, Ooh. baby. Originally, people thought he was taking a full time position there, but now it's found out that he's still working at id. Just more time is going to the Oculus right now. I need a beer. We do. Oh, shit, we forgot beer. Hold on. And jump cut. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's that's better. Yeah, now it feels like culture shock. Yeah. So not only do I know what I'm talking F- about. Oculus Rift is awesome. And fuck. It's play drunk. It is. It's like Dumbo drunk. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a tree. That's a fucked up scene from that movie. I don't want I don't want to get too off topic, but kids, there's an old Disney movie called Dumbo. Go watch the drunk scene at least because it's fucked. He gets so drunk he wakes up in a tree. Yeah. He gets so drunk he has an acid trip. And the crows are racist as shit. Anyways, the Oculus Rift. Um, it was announced, yeah, John Carmack is going to be the chief technology officer. At, he's formerly known as Id behind Doom and Wolfenstein and all those games. Ooh, Lord John Carmack. But, I never thought I would see. But John Carmack is more known for his technology that he's created. You know, the Id engines and he's just a great programmer. So him coming on. I would, the, I would like peg him as like sort of the father of First person shooters. He designed the engines that run them. Like the cl- the Wolfenstein, Doom. Mm-hmm. It's that guy. He made id Tech 3. Do you know what still runs on id Tech 3? Call of Duty. Fucking 12, 13 years later. Update your shit. <laughs> Anyways, the Oculus Rift is a headset, and I wanted to talk about it, and that's all for my notes. Oculus Rift, it's awesome. Is that all you got? Yes. All right, no, now, okay. Why, I'm, why do you think it's awesome? I'm looking forward to the Oculus Rift. One thing I like to compare it to is like in a call, or just one thing I'm excited for is like in Call of Duty or Battlefield, you always have to point the gun where you want to look. Mm-hmm. And it's a little slower than, imagine if you just had a headset that the gun would stay pointed down a hallway and with your head, you could just go behind you really quick and look around. Like, oh, oh, there's a guy up to the right. Then you could pull the gun up there. That's so much more immersive to me, being able to control the head. Or like in a driving game, you know how you can use the right stick a lot of the times to look around the car? In a driving game, you don't need to just hit a button for reverse you can just like or something like that it would just be cool and immersive and awesome it's the future yeah there's just one thing that's cool I about guess. the oculus rift there's a uh, a video player that's a movie theater and you can just be in a movie theater and you can control the screen and make it as big as you want it to be but in virtual reality space where you can look around the movie theater so would you just fill the screen yeah but you could have like an imax experience at your desk and that's kind of cool. John, what do you think about the Oculus Rift? I'm looking forward to trying it. Uh, I mean, I, I've been through one virtual reality is awesome phase in my life. Kind of mm-hmm. like the same thing. They've try, they're trying to shove all this 3D movie crap down our throats. Yeah. This virtual reality thing has happened before. But now, but now, it's... now honestly, it is better. Like, this could this thing does look really cool. Mm-hmm. And I'm eager to test it. I'm not going to say, like, this is awesome yet because I haven't looked at it for myself. Yeah. But I want I do want to get my hands on this thing and give it a whirl. You say it's similar to old VR. It's nowhere near similar I know. to old VR. That's the, I remember buying a it VR headset when they're... I was, like, a little kid. And it's just like, bleep, no. bleep, mm. bleep. This is now 3D gaming graphics, realistic Imagine PlayStation 4, Xbox One, I guess. Yeah, I would like to be able to sit on my couch and play this at night, but I got a couple things I'm worried about. One, I'm worried about someone coming up to me, like my wife, someone coming up to me and like tapping me on the shoulder and scaring the piss balls out of me because I'm going to have my headset on. I'm going to have this virtual reality headset on. It, does, it have, <gasps> does it have any sort of motion sensor where, oh, something in your room is moving? So, no. So, hey, pay attention? No, you're fucked. So, yeah. So, I'm worried about just getting freaked out by people coming <laughs> and, try, you know, like my daughter getting up in the middle of the, ni- uh, middle of the night while I'm trying to game. Yeah. And she comes up and jumps on my lap. I'm going to piss myself. <laughs> the other thing I'm concerned about is comfort. How does it sit on your head? Mm-hmm. Because, uh, it, you know, like you, I had some of those virtual reality headsets when I was young, where yeah. I was young, and they don't feel good. Yeah, I mean, early reports of the dev kits that have gone out, they say it's, you know, they, they recommend you take a break every hour or so from it for a few minutes. Whatever. But people have said it's pretty comfortable. I, like, mm-hmm. it doesn't, 
it's not too heavy that it like, bogs your head down. It's pretty light, according to reports. Right. I don't really fucking know. Brian has a question. Brian has a question. Brian's question, or Brian's concern was people are going to put this on their head and be in there for 10, Ever. 12 hours or whatever. You ever seen the movie Surrogates? People lived in robots that walked around the world and they just sat in their house all day. And like that's where we're heading. Well, just add, add like porn to that mix. Oh my god, well, for, there is already, oh. well, no, there's Google Glass porn. Oh. So I imagine Oculus Rift, um, so would you, yeah, would you just be like in a room where yeah. two people are banging? Just watching it happen. I, if no. the porn industry yeah. supports the <laughs> Oculus Rift, it will be a success. So also going to losing your life in this Oculus, there's this other thing which may keep you fit, and I think it goes perfectly hand in hand with the Oculus, it's the Omni. Now, do you know about the Omni? Now, is that the thing you showed me where the guy had the little waist? Yes, and he, it's, it's, a, like a, it's, it's like an a Omni, it's an omnidirectional treadmill, but for your house. Mm -hmm. They had a Kickstarter, they were asking for like 500 something thousand or 200 something thousand, just a low amount, they got like millions of dollars. So they're producing it, and basically they strap you in, you put the Oculus on, and you're just there. I will be in so much much better shape if I get this. Too much work. Too much work. Uh, it's awesome. I play video games and relax, part of the not do that shit. That's mm -mm. that's ridiculous. Yeah, but everyone's always criticizing gamers for being fat, lazy slobs. It's a lot. Pretty much that's everybody's a gamer nowadays. But so. the stereotype is always like, <laughs> like make love, not Warcraft. You know, well, yeah. sitting around. Mom, get my poop bucket. Shit bucket. That's my favorite scene in any South Park <laughs> thing ever. How do you kill that which has no life? And I'd like to see gyms based completely on video games. I mean, you weird. could honestly like buy the Oculus Rift, buy this thing, and turn it into a gym. Because I guarantee half the people, like college kids, well, you're not going to put that fucking thing in a dorm. Yeah, maybe. Start I a mean, business. Start a start of a first person shooter gym membership. Yeah, business. There you go. But in the Omni commercial, they talk about like, hey, imagine waking up in the morning and going for a walk in Skyrim. I just think immersion level. If you had that in Battlefield, imagine the Omni, this, a gun controller, and just yeah. everything's. You'd be so into I it, just, it's done. I just want a game where I can just, you know, masturbate onto Donald Duck's face. That'd be sweet. <laughs> okay, so that was the Oculus Rift. Yeah, um, Oculus yeah. Rift. I want it. It looks cool. I think it'll revolutionize things. What do you guys think? Done what do properly. You, yeah, what do you guys feel about it? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Yes. Do, do you think this thing's going to be cool, or do you think, like me, it's like, yeah, I want to test it first. I think it's the beginning of something cool. It's also, okay. leave comments below with future questions for Culture Shock because we're going to start taking viewer questions again. And also, I keep forgetting to put this in. If you want to send in video responses, we'll be happy to put you in the episode. If you want to ask your question like in yeah. a video response, please yeah, do that. Fun. And also, here comes the bullshit. Like us on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Pinterest, you know, all that shit so we can keep up to date on what's going on on the Culture Shock. <laughs> you.